one of Training Camp is in the books. Mariah Janos and Evan Marinovsky here. Evan was at camp, so we're going to chat about what he saw. Um, Evan, obviously, when anyone thinks of the Bruins, you think of Patrice Bergeron, who is now the captain, so to speak. So to speak. It, they they but... love they love over there. They love, you know, oh, if he's the captain, if yeah. he, it's like, well, we all know it's coming. Even Chara broke the news basically in his press conference saying that yeah. he was. So he did. Uh, we all expect it. We all expect if it. If not, he got a very large endorsement from Zdeno Chara <laughs> and Brad Marchand. Um, what are your expectations for them this season? There's always talk that, oh, they're getting older, they're getting burnt out, that they're not as good as they used to be. What are your expectations for them? You know, as a team, and with Bergeron and Marshawn especially, I mean, obviously you're going to be without Pasternak to start the season. That's yeah. never an easy thing. That's it's not good in any way, shape, or form. But in a sense, it will be interesting to see, you know, if it is Jack Stadnika on that right side, which we'll get to in a little bit. I think there's it's sort of breathing m- more new life into that line. Um, you know, yeah. Marshawn now is kind of fully healthy uh, after that surgery, or he will be fully healthy come opening night. Um, I expect Bergeron to have similar production. I don't expect a drop off from Bergeron. I don't expect any crazy jump. You know, he's in his, you know, early to mid thirties. So it's not like, you know, we're, you know, it's not like we're, we're, we've kind of seen what his best can be, even though Brad Marshawn today said this guy has no ceiling, which is kind of true. He kind of does keep getting better and better. But I think from a points production standpoint, I think it'll be around what we've, what we've gotten accustomed to. <laughs> Marshawn's interesting. I do think that there's a chance that Marshawn kind of goes above the hundred point plateau. I mean, he's kind of been doing that or getting close to it the past few years. Yeah. I think there's a total chance or actually no, not a hundred points. It's a shortened season. That's not happening. A hundred point uh, pace, a hundred point pace okay. is a better way to put it. Um, so if we, if we played 82 games, I guess maybe you could make that case, but uh, I do expect, you know, similar to better production from Marshawn. Um, but it really comes down to Stadnika on the right. And when does Pasternak return? That's really the two biggest questions. Now, the absence of David Pasternak, kind of big, as you mentioned. He's going to miss the opener. Kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal. I don't know. Um, But he's going to miss the opener. Hopefully not much longer after that, though. It was announced. How impactful do you – can this be to the start of the season? Do you see this being an impact at all? Yeah, you know, it's funny. I see it being an impact, but in some ways having a guy like Stadnika, or if that doesn't work, throwing Craig Smith up there if you really want to, which I don't think they do. I think they'd like to have Smith and Coyle yeah. together, getting used to each other on that third on that third line. But I think when you have a guy like Stadnika, you know, it gives you a chance to see what you have in him. You know, you're putting him with your two biggest offensive weapons that are healthy. See how you do. You know, let's see what your ceiling can be at at his at, at that age. And I think in some ways, it's, it's sort of a cool opportunity for the Bruins to see what they have in a guy like Stadnika. I don't know if it costs them any games. I mean, obviously, yeah, you're missing David Pasternak. You're missing your best goal scorer. You're mm-hmm. missing your most lethal power play weapon. Now with Tori Krug gone, <laughs> it's yeah. unfortunate. Uh, but I do think, you know, it, it will give them an opportunity to see Stadnika. Um, but, I mean, like – yeah, of course it's going to impact them. It's, you know, they're not going to love this. Yeah. They're going to want Pasternak back. Um, I guarantee you, uh, you know, five or six games into the season, the power play is going to be having a tough time. Everyone's going to be saying, if only you signed Krug. Everyone else is going to be saying, if only Pasternak was healthy. So it's going to be just a mess. It could be just be a mess on the power play. You know, everyone's mm-hmm. yelling at everyone. Um, but it, it should be very interesting to see what happens. I think ultimately Pasternak will be back probably 10 games into the season, maybe, maybe less, maybe a few more. Uh, But I do think the impact will be felt uh, at the beginning. Yeah. And you've mentioned him a couple times, Jack Stadnika. We saw him phased in, in the playoffs, turned a lot of heads. I personally really liked what I saw out of him. He was really hungry and he was really aggressive and you saw him going all out, getting to the net, trying to find the back of the net. He didn't ultimately do it, but he was giving it his all. And Bruce Cassidy kept addressing that in his pressers about how much effort he was putting forth and how ultimately it's going to work for him. He's going to find his rhythm. He's going to learn how to control himself a little bit more, and he's going to start putting pucks in the back of the net. How do you see, or what do you see for his involvement this season? Like you said, top line, he's not going to be every, every game. He'll be there while Pasternak's out. But what do you see once Pasternak returns? Where do you see him kind of fitting into this lineup? 
So that's the interesting question. I think, you know, I predicted uh, that, you know, Stanika is going to be a guy that, you know, when you're working with Marshawn and Bergeron, you're going to have no problems getting points, having mm-hmm. no problems finding the back of the net. He'll be fine up there. It kind of, as you said, comes to what happens when Pasternak returns. There's a weird chance that Kasha doesn't work with Krejci and the Bruins say, let's put Pasternak with Krejci. Let's keep Stanika up here. This seems to be working. I doubt that happens. I think Kasha is going to yeah. be fine with Krejci. Um, yeah. So I think it really comes down to that third line. Uh, where does you know Stednika fit in now? Nick Ritchie played with Coyle and Smith today at day one of training camp. Anders Bjork is definitely going to be someone who sees time on that left side. Uh, they're kind of waiting for him to sort of fulfill that potential that we all know he has that he just kind of hasn't been able to hit into. But that's ultimately where Stednika could also fit in. I mean, you know, Stednika could easily fit on that left side. I don't know if they want him as a right as really a a right handed center playing the left wing, but I mean, I think it could work. Um, But I really do think that that's his one opening. I mean, you know, maybe if Kasha doesn't, uh, doesn't perform up to standards, you could put Stanika with Krejci. There's a couple places you could put him, but my most obvious would be just kind of on that left side of coil. That seems to be the most obvious uh, opening that you're, you know, you're, you're not going to have surefire production out of Uh, because Nick Ritchie's obviously going to have his issues. Anders Bjork has had, production issues in the past not a ton of reason to think that that doesn't happen again so I think that's his best shot uh, but again I mean you know you're going into a season with COVID that can easily affect guys injuries they don't have a lot of time to ramp up so I think there's going to be a lot of openings in the lineup as you know time goes on hopefully not COVID but obviously it could be right. as you saw with the Patriots and with many NFL teams um, and then with uh, you know just injuries in general but I do think that's going to be interesting because I think he probably should and probably will fight his way into a lineup spot. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be interesting to watch his development over uh, the course of the year, and hopefully everyone stays healthy for as long as possible. Yes, that would be very fun. (laughs) Not COVID-related, fingers crossed. Yes, yes. Uh, But we'll see what happens. For all of our Bruins coverage, head to clnsmedia.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel over at Bruins Rinkside.